welcome back, HVU. So what, what what's going on? What do we have in front of us here? We have a nine series transformer, although today's topic will work with Stratus as well. Mm -hmm. So we have a great support team, a great technical we support team. Yep. And then behind them, since our since our R&D team, which which if anything rises to that level, they can they can take care of a lot of stuff. So one of the things that we do that is really handy is that if 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 a customer has a problem in the field that for some reason we can't solve over the phone, one of the things we can do is we can exactly replicate that whole location here in the office Amazing. and see yep. how everything runs and, and it's an exact duplicate of their system. One of the other things we can do is we actually sometimes put hardware on their location that is located here. Right. So yeah. if, if the copy doesn't work, we actually put hardware on their location so we can see everything that's happening we on their location. Lot of testing. Just as if yeah. it was just as if it was on site. So yep. that's really helpful. However, there are very few times, but there are times where we can't duplicate the problem here. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, we are going to send out a logger. And we wanna just show you how to install the logger on the 9 Series and Stratus, they're both the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we ever do this, we wanted to just give you a video on how to, how to install this. Yep. And uh, it's really quite simple. All you have to do is plug it in and that's it. Turn the transformer back on and you're done. So first thing you wanna obviously turn off the transformer, unplug it. And then what we're gonna do is on this sticker is you'll feel right in this area, right next to the LED lights, that there are two places that, that do not have backing behind them or there's no metal behind them. And what we're looking for is that top, that top section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a razor blade and I'm gonna just cut the sticker right along the edge of that hole. And I'll peel the sticker out of there, which exposes our logging port. And then what I'm gonna do is take this logger You'll notice that you want the ST, the SD card facing down. And so I'm going to just plug that logger right into the port there. Right there. So once that logger is plugged in, all I have to do is plug the transformer back in, flip it on, and you're ready to go. Of course, put the cover back on um, so it's protected from water. Um, so what is this logger exactly? What so it is logging all kinds of data. So one of the things that our R&D team does all the time is they connect the computer up to that port. The transformer is sending them all kinds of information about what's happening, what's going on with the system, sure. what's stuff that we can't see remotely. Sure. And so what this logger does is it's logging all that data. Gotcha. So then what's going to happen is after we see the problem happen again, we'll ask you to send that back to us and then we'll have We've all, that, got data, all that data and nice. we can see exactly what happened. Sure. Yep. Just another way how innovative we are, how much above and beyond we go th for our support. Yep. So what'll happen is you'll get the logger. You'll also get another sticker along with it. So once you're done with the logger, you take this off, you just put the new sticker over top, cover that hole up and yep. you're ready to go. Yep. Good deal. Guys, if you have any questions, call us. Thanks.